himself. Did Jesus have everyone saved that he sowed the seed in their heart? The Pharisees had it. They were not saved. Sadducees had it. They were not saved. Judas Iscariot had it. He showed some signs of salvation. But the seed did not abide. He received him with joy. This is my savior. He went into service. But ultimately, Judas had the cares of this life. And the deceitfulness of riches. He fell by the wayside. The sower is the son of man. The seed is the perfect word. For that eternal seed to be a fruit in our lives, we must have the right kind of heart. And then the disciples, the apostles, they were also sowers of the word. Did all the people get saved that the apostles sowed the seed in? No, some of the hearers are the wayside heart. Some are the hardened heart. Some are the rocky heart. Some of them are the Sons that choke the world. Paul preached the same gospel to the Corinthians. As he preached to the Galatians. As he preached to the Thessalonians. As he preached to the Philippians. The same gospel to the Ephesians. But the fruit was different in Corinth or the province of Galatia or the people of Philippa or the people of Thessalonica because of the condition of the heart the sower good the seed good but the result will depend on the kind of heart we have. Look at number two. Number two. We're looking at peculiarities of the soil for the seed from him. Now, if the seed from him the seed from God. The word of God. If it does not even bear fruit everywhere for everyone. If the incorruptible seed does not bear fruit uniformly everywhere. But if he abandon his seed. The corruptible seed. And you come not with the seed, you come with stories. You come with political discussion. You come with head knowledge. You come with earthly seed. That is already corrupted even in the original form. If the seed from him does not bear appropriate food or fruit all the time, I bought the seed we gather from storytellers and from friends and from other ministers. I like that story. I like what he's saying. And instead of giving the Bible to the people, we give, uh, you know, adopted stories to the people. 
it bears no fruit ayana yuddu nunchi vachina akshay bijame antala falinchagapothe kattu kadalu pitta kadalu cheppe vari bodala dwara vaatini bodaga angeekarinchina variki em phalalu vastayandi the peculiarities of the soil anayalaku sambandhinchina prakyaat the peculiarities of the heart ayaka hrudayani sambandhinchina pratyekatalu for the seed that comes from him అది ఆయన యొద్ద నుంచి వచ్చే విత్తనం ఇప్పటికే హృదయం యొక్క నేల యొక్క ప్రత్యేకతలు మనం గమనించాం చెప్పాలి సేవకుడు తన సంఘం అంతా కూడా హృదయాన్ని కలిగిన వాడిగా ఉంటే అతడు గనక వేగవంతంగా దర్శనం కలిగిన వాడైతే ఆయన ప్రణాళిక గల పని వాడైతే వైరాగ్యం గల వాడైతే అతను దాన్ని బోధిస్తే ఏ వర్తమానాన్ని బోధిస్తాడో ఆయన వస్త్రాలని కూడా చెమడతో తడిచిపోతే నిజంగా వారి హృదయాన్ని సవాలు చేయకపోతే దాని గురించి ఆలోచింప చేయకపోతే ఇక అతని సంఘం ఎప్పుడు కూడా త్రోవ ప్రక్కన పడ్డ విత్తనాలు గానీ మిగిలిపోద్ది వారు వాక్యాన్ని వింటారు వారు సభలో నుంచి బయటికి వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత వారిలో ఎవరినైనా అడగండి ఏం బోధించారండి నాకు తెలియదు అంటే మంచిగా చెప్పారండి ఆ మనిషి మాట్లాడతాడండి ఏం జరిగింది విన్న వాక్యం మొత్తం అపవాది వచ్చి ఎత్తుకుని పోయారు అంటే ఆ తర్వాత వారం ఇక్కడ గుర్తుండదు మరలా సిద్ధపడి వస్తాడు చెమటలు పడ్డానికి ప్రజలను అరిచి కేకలు పెట్టించేలా బోధిస్తాడు సభలో నుంచి బయటకు వచ్చాక ఏం బాధ చేస్తారండి ఏమోనండి కానీ సమయం చాలా బాగుందండి అటువంటి బోధకుడు తన సేవా జీవిత కాలాన్ని వృద్ధా చేసుకుంటున్నాడు సంఘం యొక్క హృదయంలో గనక దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యం ఇంకి పోకపోతే వారు కేవలం పై పైకి వింటారు ఆ తర్వాత వారు బోధకులానే ఉండిపోతారు వారి మెదరుతో మాట్లాడుతున్నారు ప్రతి వారం అలాగే చేస్తుంటాడు తద్వారా ప్రజలకు వారి హృదయం అనే నేలలో వాక్య యొక్క లోతులు ఏ మాత్రము ఉండవు అటువంటి బోధకుడు సేవలో జీవిత కాలం వృధా చేసుకుంటాడు బోధకుడు గనక ఎప్పుడు వచ్చే సంఘం ఉంటే ఆ ప్రజలకు గనక జీవితంలో చింతల విచారాలు ఉంటాయి వారు రాజకీయ వారికి ధన మోసం గనక ఉంటే అమెరికా అలాగున వచ్చి కూర్చున్న వారు వారి ఆలోచనలో అమెరికాలో ఏం జరుగుతుంది యూరోప్ లో ఏం జరుగుతుంది సింగపూర్ లో ఏం జరుగుతుంది అన్నట్టుగా ఆలోచన చేస్తూ ఉండిపోవడం ద్వారా దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యం అనే విత్తనం వారి హృదయంలో పడుతుంది కానీ అది ఏ మాత్రము కూడా వారి జీవితంలో ఫలభరితంగా మిగిలిపోదు మీరు ఎటువంటి హృదయాలకు పరిచయ చేయించున్నారో ఆ విభిన్నమైన హృదయాల వైపుకు చూడండి వారి హృదయాలు రూపాంతరతలోనికి తీసుకుని రండి తద్వారా మీరు మంచి నేలను తయారు చేస్తారు కొంతమంది అయితే మంచి నేలను మంచి విత్తనం నాటిన వారి వలె ఉంటారు 
మంచి విత్తనాన్ని నాటవచ్చు లేకపోతే మౌనంగా నాటవచ్చు లేకపోతే కేకలు వేస్తూ నాటవచ్చు నేను నెమ్మదిగా మాట్లాడినా లేకపోతే పాటలు పాడుతూ నేర్పించినాడుతున్నట్టుగా కనబడినా ఏ రీతిగా పరిచర్య చేసినప్పటికి పరిచర్య విధానం కాదు గాని మంచి విత్తనం మంచి హృదయమైన నేలలో నాటబడినప్పుడు మంచి ఫలాన్ని ఫలితంగా పొందుతాం మృదువుగా సాధువుగా నెమ్మదిగా మాట్లాడే బోధకులతో పోటీ పడాల్సిన పని లేదు you don't have to copy the one that his voice looks like he's singing when he's preaching like pote kontha mandi vakyane bodhisthunte paatla paadutunnattu ga untundi varito poti padalsina pan ledu you don't have to copy the shouting speaker like pote gattiga kekala vesi bodhinche bodhakulato poti padalsina pan ledu the success of the sowing is that you are sowing in good విత్తు వాని యొక్క విజయం మంచి నేల మంచి హృదయముల విత్తడాన్ని బట్టి ఉంటుంది దేవునికి స్తోత్రములు చెల్లించుదాం ఇప్పుడు మూడు అంశాన్ని మనం చూద్దామా మూడవ అంశం ఏమిటంటే ఉన్నతమైన అత్యున్నతమైన మహోన్నతమైన పంట కోసం నేలను సిద్ధం చేయుడాను విత్తబడిన వారెవరనగాంటున్నారు వారికి అర్థం చేసుకునే హృదయం ఉంది వారు కేవలం వాక్యాన్ని పఠించటం వినడం మాత్రమే కదా అర్థం చేసుకుంటారు మీ యొక్క వర్తమానం యొక్క భాషను మీ వర్తమానాన్ని ప్రజలకు అందించే విధానాన్ని ప్రజలు అర్థం చేసుకుని ఎలా మీరు చూసుకోవాలి or dictionary and look for big big words you don't want them to understand you only want to exalt yourself as the master of a language that you're speaking above their head you want to speak so that the people can understand you're preparing the heart you're preparing the soil to receive the good seed oka bodukuni ga paricharya cheyalasu vachinappudu pedda pedda encyclopedia alu dictionary lu tiragesi pedda pedda ardham kaani sankhishta padalanni pogesi ganaka variki bodiste vari medaduku bodha chestunnaame gaani palavantamaina nelaga vari hrudayaniki bodha cheyaledu tadwara phalalu raavu and the people that have the desire for riches and the deception of riches and the cares of this life you don't kind of play into their hands you want to see how to present the word so that they will know that the cares of this life will hinder them from getting to heaven you approach all the sons and you approach all those hindrances and then their hearts are softened their hearts are plowed their hearts are well cultivated and now you can put the seed of the word in the hearts of the people aishwaryam kosam aasa galavaru dhana mosamuto unnavaru vakyam vendaniki devunu sanadiki vachinappudu vakyanni vittanam kante munduga vaari hrudayam ane nelanu spashtamaga chakkavaga manamu dunnina varamai aa yokka mulla mokkalanitti teesiveya galigite vakyam ane vittanam vaari jeevithallo phalinchadam jarugutundi this a day which has sown on good ground ee aadivaram manchi nelana vittanalu chesanu so as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit some 30 fold some 60 fold some 100 fold manchi nelana vittabadina vaare evaraga vakyam vini daanini angikrinchi 30 antaluga 60 antaluga 100 antaluga phalinchina vaare ani chepparu some 30 fold kontha mandi 30 antalu they come in to hear the word of the gospel వారు సువర్తమాన వినడానికి వచ్చారు they realize they are sinners వారి యొక్క పాపాలు ఒప్పుకొని జీవితాన్ని దేవునికి ఇచ్చారు they cannot save themselves ఇక వారిని వారి దేవుని సమర్పించుకునే ప్రయత్నంలో ఉన్నారు salvation is only in christ వారికి రక్షణ క్రీస్తు ద్వారా వస్తుందని తెలుసు and you give them chance 
means to repent and and to receive Christ and to be born again and they have salvation and they can go forth and bear fruit such fruit అటువంటి వారు వారు తమ పాపాలు ఒప్పుకొని పశ్చాత్తాపడ్డానికి రక్షకుడిని స్వీకరించడానికి మనం వారికి అవకాశం ఇవ్వగలిగితే అటువంటి వారు ఫలించే ఫలం ముప్పు దంతల ఫలంగా ఉంటుంది వారు మరలా వచ్చి వాక్యాన్ని వింటారు వారికి చూపించాలి ముప్పు దంతల రక్షణ చాలదు takes away the stony heart and gives them the heart of flesh and now they have inner salvation outward salvation they have sanctification holiness of heart 30 30th lo varu marla trigi vakyane vinadaniki vachinappudu vari kosam manam paricharya chese dwara vari raati gunda tolaginchabadi maamsa hrudayam variki ivabaddam dwara varu mariyakko falinchi rakshananu pavitratanu pondi falabaritamaina varu avtaru i show them meer variki chupinchi rakshinchabadali good manchidi చాలదు పరిశుద్ధపరచబడాలి మంచిది అంతటితో చాలదు మనం శక్తిని స్వీకరించాలి పరిశుద్ధాత్ముడు మీ మీదకి వచ్చినప్పుడు మీరు నాకు సాక్షులుగా ఉంటారు వరకు they came to the prayer meeting pradhana sabalu kostaru anas they were praying vari prarthinchukuntunte the day of pentecost was fully come pentecost dinamu panduga pattiga vachinappudu all was one accord and united varandra eka manasutho kalisi unnaru no argument among them vari madhyalo vaadalu levu no tribal comparison among them vari meeda okaritho okaru polchukodam ledu no up and no low among them vari lo ettu okaru takku okaru ne vidhanam ledu sanctification has taken away pavitrata vadu oka sthayiki teesukochindi the tribal negative of comparisons vari madhyalo unna tegala vidana vibhedalu ikkada levu and when they were of one accord vari ekka manasutho unna pudu only looking into heaven and looking for heaven kevalam paralokam vaipu paralokam kosam chustunna pudu sanchi fold salvation muppa dantalu rakshana 60 fold sanctification 60 dantalu parishuddhata 100 fold the holy ghost comes upon them in power from heaven nurantalu parishuddhaatma shakti pai nunchi vaari meedaki digu vachindi chappalu kodu devuniki stotram jeliddam find out from the scriptures ikkada lekhanallo kanugundama peter standing up and preaching 3000 coming peter nilabadi peter nilabadi maatladithe nurantalu anaga 3000 mandi rakshinchabaddaru peter john at the beautiful gate what i have a give unto you rise up and walk they had a hundred fold petru yohanu shringara manabadina devalaya dwaramunu da vadini lepinappudu varandaru kuda aa reethi noorantala phalanni pondi unnaru acts chapter 4 verse 4 5000 believing a hundred fold apostolu kaadimulu grantham 4 adhyayam 4 vachanamulo vishwasinchina vaari lekka 5000 ku cherukundi and as peter chapter 5 was walking on the street and the people that were lame the people that were demonized and the people that were sick a shadow coming upon them they rising up and getting healed 30 fold 60 fold 100 fold that come aidha adhyayam nunchi manam gamanisthunnappudu petra margamlo nadustu unte duratmala chetha patta padda varu kaalu chethulu avitiga unna varu balahinatulato unna varu aina needa padagana lecharu ante 30 dantalu nunchi 60 dantalu 60 dantalu nunchi 100 dantalu kochcharu the people with the good heart are not satisfied with 30 fold they want to move on manchi hrudayam gala varu 30 dantalato santrupti chendaru inka kavalanukuntaru the people with the good heart do not rest after 60 fold they want to move on manchi hrudayam gala varu 60 dantalu tho agiporu mari inka kavalu anukuntaru moving on and on until the bear a hundred fold nurantalu palinche varaku munduku veltune em untaru look at osea chapter 10 verse 12 hosea grandamu 10th adhyayamu 12th vachanam osea chapter 10 verse 12 నీ యొక్క నేలను దున్నండి 
what we do, what we do for ourselves. You look at the kind of heart you have. And you look at the unproductive side of your heart. And you want to be the good ground. And you want to have multiple fruitfulness. Break up your fallow ground. The ground that never has conviction the ground that never has aspiration. The ground that never has ambition and pursuit and passion for higher things. Break up, break up your fellow ground. Oh, it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Let's come to point number two. Point number two, the priority of presenting our hearts for enabled fruitfulness. Many things we do in life. But we need to have priority. For example, your hand. Very good. Your feet. Very good. Your skin. Very good. Your heart. Very good. Where do you spend the most time preparing? Some people don't have priority. They take care of their nails in the same way they take care of their hearts. Some people don't have priority. They take care of their skin like they take care of their heart. Some people do not have priority. They scrape the sole of their feet as they take care of their hearts. And yet your nails can be cut off and life remains. Even the finger can be cut off and life continues. The foot can be amputated and life continues. But if your heart is killed, destroyed, diseased, and it's not functioning again, Life stops. Kani Hurdeyamu, Yadi Baritamai, Paniche Kunda Nasanani Glonaite, Ika Jivitam Prano Agipotundi. Good dressing is good. Manchi Vastradar and Manchidi. But the heart needs to be taken care of more. Kani Vastradar and Kante, Hurdeyani Gurinchi, Maria Kuva Jagartava Hinsal. When he good shoes, good. Manchi shoes waste got a Manchidi. More attention. For their heart. Having good relationship with people. Be social. Good. But the attention more for their heart. We need to pitch the people that do not give priority for their heart. They say they are Christians, their heart is still as infant as those little children that do not understand anything. Look at three things here. Number one. Praying and possessing a tender, teachable heart. Tender, heart. teachable heart. That's the priority. Number two. Pricking and purging of hard, hardened hearts. 
గుర్చి దాన్ని పరిశుద్ధపరచుకోవడం దట్స్ ఎ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ హార్ట్ దట్ విల్ బి అ ఫ్రూట్ అటువంటి హృదయానికి ఫలాలు రావండి ఐ వర్ నాట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ సూపర్ఫిషియల్ వాషి ప్రకృతిక వైదికనబడే కడగడాన్ని మనం అంగీకరించకూడదు అవర్ హార్ట్ టు బి రెడీ టు రిసీవ్ ద సీడ్ పై పైన కడగబడడం కాదు విత్తనాన్ని స్వీకరించే హృదయం ఉండాలి నంబర్ 3 ప్రొటెక్టింగ్ అండ్ ప్రెసెంటింగ్ ట్రూ ట్రూత్ఫుల్ హార్ట్స్ ఆ తర్వాత నిజమైన వాస్తవికమైన హృదయాన్ని మనం భద్రం చేసుకొని నిలిచి ఉండేలా చూసుకోవాలి we need to protect our heart mana mana hrudayalni kaapadukovali actually we protect even our mind mana manasunu kuda badram cheskovali we protect our brain mana yokka medanni badram cheskovali because those are essential parts of our personality endukante vyaktitvamlo vibhinnamaina vidhanalu untayi let's say for example udaharanaku you go to the doctor meer doctor degiriki vellaru ankonde and the doctor examines you డాక్టర్ మిమ్మల్ని పరీక్షించారనుకోండి పరీక్షలు చేసి అంతరంగ పరిశోధన జరిగిస్తాడు అండి ఆయన ఇంకా లాభం లేదన్నారు అనుకోండి దాని అర్థం ఏంటంటే స్టేజ్ ఫోర్ క్యాన్సర్ ఉంది అన్నమాట your blood pressure is affected mee rakta potu maripoddi that same moment your heart is affected aa kshanalo gunde prabhavitam avutadi that same moment your life is confused aa kshanalo jeevitham gandaragolam aipoddi that same moment you start sweating aa kshanalo chamatla battestai what made your heart go down like that ante mee hrudayanni atti bhavana gurtu chesindi what is your high bro- your blood pressure మీ యొక్క రక్తపోటు కారణం ఏంటి వాట్ మేక్స్ యు స్టార్ట్ స్వచ్చింగ్ ఇమిడియట్లీ వెంటనే చెమట్లు పడ్డానికి కారణం ఏంటి ద వర్డ్స్ దట్ కేమ్ టు యువర్ బ్రెయిన్ టు యువర్ మైండ్ ఆ డాక్టర్ గారు చెప్పిన మాట మీ మెదళ్ళలో నుంచి మీలోకి వచ్చింది ఆ వై యు ఆర్ ట్రెంబ్లింగ్ మణికిపోతున్నారు ది డాక్టర్ హాపన్స్ టు గో టు వేర్ హి హాస్ హిస్ డేటా బ్యాంక్ డాక్టర్లు కొంతమంది అలా వేగవంతంగా చెప్పేస్తూ ఉంటారు కూడా అరే ని కమ్స్ బ్యాక్ ఆయన మరల తిరిగి వచ్చి This is madam I'm so sorry ayyo ayyo madam gar sorry andi uh, you know i wasn't looking well nenu sariga chooledandi i actually give you another person's results ayyo ayyo vere vaalla report chupinchanandi and i i want to check up again ippudu marla chustanandi i see that you are all right nu manchiga unnavu ledu nenu chustanandi no cancer cancer ledu all of a sudden akasmatuga your mind cools down kamana su challa padipoddandi this sweating is reduced chamadanta tagipoddandi what caused the change of feeling ayo kanubhutala mar pekkanu nunchi vachindi the formation that came to your mind me manasu kandina samacharam we need to protect the mind kanuka manasuna badram cheskovali protect our brain mana bendarini badram cheskovali protect our heart mana hrudayanni badram cheskovali just anything does not come into your heart yedi padithe adi hrudayam loki raakudadu very important for us manaku chaala pramukhyam andi there you can preserve the heart that will receive the best from god and produce the best for god appudu maatrame devuni yoddu nunchi shreshthamaindi swikarinchi devuni koraku shreshthamainadi utpatti cheyagala hrudayanga untundi number 1 modadi di prayna and possessing or presenting our hearts so that it will bear fruit our hearts need to be tender హృదయం మృదువుగా ఉండాలి ఉపదేశాన్ని స్వీకరించాలి ఉపదేశాన్ని స్వీకరించే హృదయం ఉండాలి అటు మృదుత్వము అటు ఉపదేశాన్ని స్వీకరించే హృదయము అవి మన హృదయాలను మనము ఫలించవలసిన ఫలములు ఫలించేలా చేస్తాయి యశ గ్రంథము యాభై రెండో అధ్యాయం వరీడింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ వర్స్ 11 పదకొండవ వచనం నుంచి మనం చదువుతున్నాం సేయ 52 వర్స్ 11 యశ యాభై రెండు పదకొండు టెల్స్ ఆస్ ఇట్ సేస్ ది పచి ది పచి గో యి అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ వేస్ టచ్ నో ఆన్ క్లీన్ సీన్ గో యి అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద మిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ హర్ 
and be ye clean the bear the vessel of the lord povudi povudi achad nundi velludi apavitramaina deenini muttakudi daani yuddhu nunchi tolagi povudi yehova seva upakaranamulanu moyu varulara mimmunu meer pavitra parachukunudi tenderness in our heart mana hrudayallo sadutvam mrudutvam cheboldness in our heart mana hrudayallo padeshanu swikarinche vidhanam make us to receive the word of god adi manalanu devun yokka vakyanni swikarinche ela chestundi what makes our heart tender mana hrudayanni edi muruduga chestundi in kings chapter 22 verse 19 ippudu 22 second kings chapter 22 verse 19 rendava rajul grandamu 22 18 because thine heart was tender అతని హృదయము మెత్తని మనసు కలిగిన వాడు గనుక అండ్ థౌ వాస్ హంబుల్ థై సెల్ఫ్ దీనత్వాన్ని ధరించిన వాడు గనుక బిఫోర్ ది లార్డ్ దేవుని ఎదుట వెన్ థౌ హర్డస్ దట్ వాట్ ఐ స్పీక్ అగైన్స్ట్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ నేను ఈ స్థలమున చేయు మనవని అంగీకరించునన్న దేవుడు అంటున్నాడు హ్ బి టైమ్స్ దేర్ తిరిగి మరలా నీ సంతోష సమయాన్ని ఇస్తాను అంటున్నాడు దే షుడ్ బికమ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ సొల్యూషన్ అండ్ ఇట్ కర్స్ ఆ విధంగా శాపానికి గురైన విడిచిపెట్టబడ్డ ప్రాంతంగా ఈ స్థలము పాడగునని సెలవిచ్చిన దేవుడు దానికి తెలియజేస్తున్నాడు ఆ విధంగా మాటలు చెప్పి బట్టలు చెప్పి దేవుని సన్నిధుడు కన్నీళ్లు రాల్చి తివి కనుక నేను చేసిన మనవి నీవి చేసిన మనవి నేను అంగీకరించానని ప్రభు చెప్తున్నాడు that is tender ayina hrudayamu mettani manasu kaligi unnadu that is teachable upadeshanni swikarinche hrudayam adi heart that takes the word and applies it to ourselves vakyanni vakyanga hrudayaniki anuvartimpa cheskune hrudayam adi heart that does not shock of the word ayoka hrudayamu lokam nunchi veru parachabadda hrudayam the heart that is contrite and trembles at his word aa hrudayamu devuni yokka vakyam edutta vanukopoya bhaya bhaktulu tho undedi is the tender heart అదండి మృదువైన హృదయం and that is the teachable heart అది ఏ ఉపదేశాన్ని స్వీకరించే హృదయం the heart that the oppression of the spirit has worked upon అట్టి హృదయమే దేవుని ఆత్మ క్రియాత్మకంగా పని చేసే హృదయం the stony nature of the heart is taken away ఆ హృదయం యొక్క రాతి పండ స్వభావం తొలగించబడింది and he gives a soft heart ఆయన మనకు మెత్తని హృదయం ఇస్తున్నాడు heart of flesh అది శరీర హృదయం మాంస హృదయం is the heart he wants in every one of us atuvandi hrudayani manalo prati okkarlo kaligundalani ayana korutunnaru number two rendavadi the preken and the purgin of hard hardened hearts kattinamaina hrudayalani gucci parishuddha parichi shubhra pariche ela cheyali the preken gruchatam you hear the word of god mir vakyanni vintunnappudu and it comes to you with conviction adi meelo oppu kolanu kaligistundi and you feel deeply sorry for your past life mir ventane mee gatha jeevithanni batti bharanga chintistharu adey you come before the lord broken hearted appudu prabhu yeduruku braddalaina hrudayamtho vastaru and you want a new heart appudu mir krutha hrudayanni korukuntaru marpu chendina hrudayam transformed heart rupantaram chendina hrudayam heart that now has the life the concept the passion the purity of christ in your life ipudu hrudayam mee jeevithamulo christu lanti vidhanam christ yokka vairagyam christ yokka shreshtathanu kaligina hrudayanga untundi and that is the kind of heart he wants in everyone atuvandi hrudayanni ayana manalo prathi okkarlo kaligundalani korutunnaru in acts of the apostles chapter 2 verse 37 అపోస్తుల కార్యముల గ్రంథము రెండవ అధ్యాయము ముప్పై ఏడవ వచనంలో అపోస్తుల కార్యముల గ్రంథం రెండు ముప్పై ఏడు వారు ఆ మాట విని హృదయములో నొచ్చుకొని వారి హృదయములో గృచ్చబడి ఒప్పుకోలు వారి మీదకు వచ్చింది What? because of what they had done contrition came to them varu chesina karyalanu batti chintinche bhavana varilo kaligindi and then they were concerned avidhanga varu shraddha gala varayyar how they could reverse what they had done varu chesina dani tirigi marala sari cheskovali how the grace and the mercy and the love of god go come to them devuni prema daya kanikarani ela pondali and he said unto peter and the rest of the apostles varu petru thonu migilina apostulu thonu అడుగుతున్నారు మేము ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి 
What am I going to do? It's like he came to Saul of Tarsus. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Saul, Saul, Who art thou, Lord? I am Jesus whom you persecute. It is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. And then he was directed. A conviction and a contrition led to the consecration and the surrender of his heart, his life. Unto the Lord. Your heart needs to be prayed. That's why those two, those two people going to him said, Did not our heart burn when he spoke to us by the way? You have tender heart. You have a softened heart. You have a new heart. And you have the word of God can be planted now. And it will bear fruit. Number three. When looking at the protection, the protection and the preservation of true, truthful hearts. We'll bring our hearts to the Lord. And then there is a turning around. There is a mighty change. And the grace of God comes to that heart. And a new life is begotten in that heart. In Psalm 51 verse 6. Psalm 51 verse 6. He says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Verse 7 says, Verse 7 says, Purge me with his soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. This is a man that wanted his son to be all good without any stain of evil. He wasn't saying, just forgive me, that's enough. Freedom from sin. I don't think I care for that. All I want is forgiveness. Just forgive me. And when I go and sin again, I'll come back. Just forgive me. He said, I want the highest that heaven can offer. I want the greatest that heaven can provide. Touch me with Isop and I shall be clean. And I'm, not, I'm not going to stop being clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. That's a heart that is is passionate. A heart that is pursuing. A heart that was the best of heaven in our experience. He says in verse 8, he says, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which was broken may rejoice. And then in verse 9, he says, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. He said, I don't want to retain sin consciousness. When somebody is standing at your back, Conscious somebody is there. What are you doing there? When somebody is by your side, and you can see with the side 
view of your eyes was it going there mee kannulu prakka chuvudu vara var em chestunnaro chudagaligi dooramlo unte he said i want you to so forgive me and purge me and cleanse me and purify me that i don't even want to have sin consciousness ayina em antarante paapapu manasaakshika nenu em maatramu kaligi undakunda nimittam kadugumu shuddhikarinchamu parishuddha parichamu ani antunnadu and then in verse 10 pado vachanallo in verse 10 create in me a clean heart oh god a new creation that okay. you need to create in me the other heart is so defiled and the other heart is so polluted i need a clean heart that you will create afresh create in me a clean heart to god and renew a right spirit within me ఓదేవా నా పాప హృదయం పాపము యొక్క రోతతో నిండి ఉన్నదయ్యా కనుక నేను అడుగుతూ ఉన్నాను నా ఎందు శుద్ధ హృదయమును కలుగు చేయము అంతరంగములో స్థిరమైన మనస్సును నూతనముగా పుట్టించము అని అడుగుతున్నాడు ఇప్పుడు నేను మూడవ అంశంలోకి వస్తున్నాను అనుభూతి చెంద గలిగిన ఫలవంతత విధానములో యథార్థతను కలిగి పురోభివృద్ధికరమైన ఉద్దేశాలతో ముందుకు వెళ్ళుట అది ఫలములు కనబడే ఫలవంతత కొలవదగిన ఫలవంతత observable fruitfulness gamaninsa galigina prajala gamanikalaku raagalige phalavantata you are not even enough to talk meeru okaru gurinchi maatladukodam you are not to say anything meeru deni gurinchi cheppalasina pan ledhu the fruitfulness will be observable mee phalavantata itralu gamaninchestha the fruitfulness will be evident mee yokka phalavantata ruzuvulatho kanabadutundi the fruitfulness will be experiential mee yokka phalavantata anubhutiloku chestundi and that is what we want adi manaku kavalasindi that will have the purpose adi utpattini kaligi untundi to pursue vembadinchadaniki and we make progress aa vidhanga purovruddhiloki raavadaniki honest heart adi yadarthamaina hrudayam nijayithi gala hrudayam fullness that he full 60 fold 100 fold obvious adi muppadantalu aruvadantalu noorantala phalavantata three things we are looking at ikkada ee amsalo kuda moodu bhagalu manam chustunnam number 1 మొదటిది the first experience of fruitfulness in christ christulo modati phalavantata yokka anubhuti our connection with christ is like marriage christuto mana bandhavyam vivaha bandhavyam lantidi is the bridegroom ayana varudu we are the bride manamu vadhuvu and as the bride is connected with the bridegroom vadhuvu varunito anusandhanam avutundaga the be a fruit manamu phalinchagaligithe because christ is not Barren. endukante kristu godrali vanti vaadu kaadu and there is fruitfulness in our life mana jeevithallo phalavantat untundi and the fruit of the spirit is love and joy and peace and long suffering and meekness and faith by delicy and goodness against this there is no law aithe aatma phalame managa prema santoshamu samadhanamu dirgha shantamu dayalatvamu manchitanamu viswasamu satvikamu aasa anigrahamu itti vaadiki virodhamaina niyamam em yu ledu the first experience modati anubhuti number 2 the father experience of fruitfulness through consecration pratishta chesukodam dwara manamu ponde phalavantata anubhutilo munmunduku velladam number 3 mudavadi the fullest experience of fruitfulness in his commission ayana aagnalo unna phalavantata yokka sampurnata anubhutini swikarinchadam look at number 1 modati amsanni chudandi the first experience of fruitfulness in christ christ yesu nandu phalavantata yokka modati anubhuti when you come to christ meer christu chentaku vachinappudu you will not be the same again meer marala munupati vale undarandi if you come to christ meer christu chentaku vaste and you are still living in the old nature meer inkanu paapa swabhavamato jeevisthunte the old life paapa jeevithamlo jeevisthunte the sinful life paapa jeevithamlo unte the evil life dushta jeevithamlo unte no change at all ye matram marpu lekapothe you only thought you came to christ you have not come to christ christu yoddu vachavu anukunnavu gaani nijanga raaledu anamata 
Our coming to Christ gives us experience. Our being in Christ gives us experience. The first experience of fruitfulness in Christ. Romans chapter 6 verse 22. Romans chapter 6 verse 22. Romans chapter 6 verse 22. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruits unto holiness and the end everlasting life. I know you put Papa Munu Vimo Chimpabadi, Devuniki Dasula Induna, Parishuda Kalaguta, Yemiko Falamu Dani, Antamunitia Jivamu. That's what becomes experiential. Adi Kevalam, Anubutal Dwara Neostundi, evident, Ruzulato, obvious, Akachitanga, observable. Our lives are the first experience as we come to the Lord. Number two, Rendabadi is the father. Experience of fruitfulness through consecration. Prabhu Naku Pratista Chase Gordon Dwara Mun Munduku Vella Galege Falavanta Vishamalo and Bhavani Kaligundadam. We love the first experience. Manaku Modati and Bhavam Chala Istram. We appreciate the first experience. Modati and Bhavan Chala Mulya Manadi. We delight in the first experience. Modati and Bhavani Manama Anandista. We are happy as to the effect of the first experience. Modati and Bhavaka Prabhavan Dwara Mano Santo Shangauntam. It's like when you have taken a good meal. And then you ask the household. Any more? I enjoy this. Good meal. Any more? This one is building me up. I can even feel the effects of the nutrients in my body. Any more? When you have that first experience, real salvation from heaven, any more, Jesus says, yes, there is more. And you have a further experience of fruitfulness. And this comes through Consecration. Consecration is under word for surrender. Surrender is another word for submission. Submission is another word for saying, I belong to you now. Everything about me is given to Christ. Prabhu, I need you to change the world. No, I'm not a man. I'm not a Christ. I'm just a man. I'm not a submission. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. In John chapter 12. Yohanes Swartha Pandanda Vadhyaya. Reading from verse 24. Yerva ye naalu gununchi manan chadu gaite. Very, very early I say unto you. Marini siya magani ani meko salvi suna. Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. It abides alone. When a person is living a life and he has not died. And everything people say they touch him. He has not died. They comment so people about him. They make him angry. He has not died. And all the gossip and whispering about him makes him stop. I can't help people again. I can't minister to people again. See the good I have done. And see their comments about me. I can't help people again. 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 He has not 
died. Between Mary going out like the children of Israel in the wilderness for 40 years. But when he realizes, he says, oh, if I grow up some comment, if I stay at this level, Some will comment. If I go back, some will comment. If I smile, some will criticize. If I frown, some will condemn. When he realizes, no matter what I do, no matter how I do it, Half of the world will be in front of me. And the other half will be behind. And so I might as well forget what they think and what they say and what they do. And die to the comments of people. Die to the comments of people. And consecrate everything I have, everything I am to the Lord. Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit godu maginja bhoomi lo padi chachipoyite adi enta gaano phalistundi adi chaavaka pote vistaramuga phalinchavakasam ledhu when you are dead to yourself meeru meeku virodhanga bhavinchinappudu you are dead to society aa vidhanga vimarshalaku chachipoyina vari vale unnappudu the sin that will want to come in your life mee jeevithanni samarpinchukodaniki ee paapaniki meeru lobadanappudu it's a new experience adi meeku noothana anubhavam is called sanctification And then you become more fruitful in the Lord. Number three. We're looking at the fullest experience of the Lord. Number three. We're looking at the fullest experience of the Lord. Number three. We're looking at the fullest experience of the Lord. Number three. We're looking at the fullest experience of the Lord. Number three. We're looking at the fullest experience of the Lord. Number three. We're looking at the fullest experience of the Lord. inside and it reaches only one third of the of that glass adi aa glass lo mood antulu varake vachind ankonde good water inka manchi neellu pure water swachchamaina neellu nourishing water poshan icche neellu refreshing water taaja dhanam kaliginche neellu but is not much kaani taginanta levu is 30% of the whole glass of water aa glass mottalo 30 bhagame It still refreshes you. Inka nu taaja dana mistundi. But there is more. Kani inka kawali. And you pour more water. Mir mariyeko nilu posaran kondi. And you go a little beyond half of the glass. Ayat ka glass lo sagan daadi posaran kondi. Sixty percent full. Arvai saato nindi nandu kondi. But there is still space. Kani inka kawali undi. You want a full cup. మీకు నిండు కప్పు కావాలి యు వాంట్ అన్ ఓవర్ ఫ్లోయింగ్ గ్లాస్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ పొంగి పొర్లే గ్లాస్ నిండి మీకు కావాలి అండ్ నౌ హి సేస్ హి విల్ పౌర్ ద స్పిరిట్ అపాన్ యు ఇప్పుడు ఆయన తన ఆత్మను మీ మీదకు పంపిస్తారు అండ్ యు విల్ డ్రీమ్ డ్రీమ్స్ మీరు కలలు కంటారు అండ్ యు విల్ సీ విజన్ మీరు దర్శనాలు చూస్తారు అండ్ యు విల్ క్రాస్ మెనీ సీస్ మీరు అనేకమైన విత్తనాలు కదలుతారు యు విల్ గో అబవ్ మెనీ మౌంటైన్స్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ జీవితములో అనేకమైన పర్వత భాగాలు దాటి వెళ్తారు అండ్ యు విల్ డు ఎక్స్ప్లోయిట్స్ ఫర్ ది లార్డ్ అప్పుడు ప్రభువు కొరకై శూర కార్యములు చేయగలుగుతారు స్పిరిట్స్ అండ్ డీమన్స్ విల్ బి ఆన్ దర్ యువర్ ఫీట్ సాతాను దురాత్మ ప్రభావాలు మీ పాదముల క్రిందకు వచ్చేస్తాయి run you no be weary meeru parigadtaru gaani alisiporu you will walk and you will not faint nadichi veltaru gaani sammasillaru it should be like there are springs under your feet adu ela untundante kaalla krinda springulu nattuga untundi and in that place there's no traffic jam ante traffic jam leni prantamulo vellinattuga because the majority of those who are joining and traveling were thirty fold and sixty fold they are far behind ఎందుకంటే ట్రాఫిక్ ఎందుకు జామ్ అవుతుందంటే 30 శాతం వాళ్ళు 60 శాతం వాళ్ళు నిదానంగా వస్తుంటారు అక్కడ ఆగిపోతారు మీరు 100 శాతం వాళ్ళు వేగవంతంగా ముందుకు వెళ్ళిపోతారు ఈ రోజున ది డీప్ స్పీకర్స్ ఆన్ టు ది డీప్ 
అంతరంగము లోపలి వాటితో అంతరంగంతో మాట్లాడుతుంది రాత్రి ఒంటరిగా ఉన్నప్పుడు కూడా మీ యొక్క జీవితాన్ని దేవుని స్వాధీన పరచుకోవడం రావాలి అక్కడ కూడా Give me this mountain. The fullness of the Spirit now comes upon you. Elisha, Elisha, tell me what you want before I be taken away from you. What I want, I've got that cheek fold. I've got 64. What I want, I want, give me double portion of your spirit rendantara atman anugrahinchandi prabhuva i want to be full nenu nindalani korutunna i want to overflow naku pongi porle anta kavali says if you see me ayina antara nannu chuste if you concentrate nu ekagrata nilipite if you consecrate nu pratishtinchukunte if you focus nu ekagrata nilipite if you put your faith just into this nivu ganaka ni viswasamunu dani meda unchithe if you are not here and there nivu attu itu vicharanam chendakunda unte your heart all your soul all your mind is focused on this ni prana atma dehalu tadeka drushti nilipite and you got the such a fold nivu mopadantalu chaladu anukunte 64 anavadantalu chaladu anukunte chode ee roju a hundred fold can come upon you rendu chethulu paigi chaabudam noorantalu raabothundi and you are going on ఆయన ఇస్తున్నాడు అకస్మాత్తుగా అగ్ని రథాలు రావడం చూస్తున్నాడు వెళ్ళిపోతే ఒంటర తనం అనిపిస్తుంది ఏలియా వంటివి కొన్ని మీ జీవితంలో వెళ్ళిపోగొచ్చింది ఇక్కడ ఆయన తీసుకున్నాడు ఇదిగో నా విన్నపానికి జవాబు వచ్చింది అనుభూతి చెందాలి కదా ఇట్ మస్ట్ బి ఎవిడెన్స్ అది రుజువులతో ఉండాలి కదా మస్ట్ బి అబ్జర్వేబుల్ అది గమనించదగినదిగా ఉండాలి కదా మస్ట్ బి మెషరేబుల్ అది కొలవదగినదిగా ఉండాలి కదా we're going to find out if it is experiential adi anubhuti chendagaligedena if it is evident adi ruzuvulato undadagindena if it is observable adi gamaninchadagindena we're going to find out nen dani kanagonali if it is measurable adi kolavadagindena and he took that mantle aina duppadi iskunnadu is chewed by jordan jordan pakkam nilabaddadu and all the other fifty sons of the prophets were watching akada pravaktala shishyulandaru chustunnaru and he knew how elijah did each one he crossed over eliya daatinappudu em chesadu ayin chuchadu that same mantle ade duppati in the hand of elisha elisha chethilo he lifted it up ayina dani paike levane ettadu it says where is the god of elijah eliya devudu ekkada and he says god says i'm here devudu anna nenu ikkade unnan ayya do it marla chey strike the water your danana veedanu kottu use the mantle ayokka duppadi ni viniyoginchu and he struck the water gatiga chapalu kodda neeti ni kottagane and the waters respected elisha as they respected elijah eliya yalagunu chesado elisha chethulo kuda laage niru vibhaginchabadini chapalu kodda devuniki stotram chelindha and the parted into two aa vidhanga rendu ga cherchabadindi do sons of the prophet aa pravaktala shishyulandaru isso evident supernatural fruitfulness prakruti ka teethamaina ruzulato kodina phalavantathanu elisha lo chucharu observable fruitfulness gamaninchadagina phalavantathanu chucharu and they saw the same power has come upon elisha adhe shakti elisha meedaku raavadani vaaru chucharu they come and they bow down vaaru vachi sastranga paddaru when you are full మీరు నిండి ఉంటే హండ్రెడ్ ఫోర్ ఊరంతలుగా సీతం వల్బా సాతాను వచ్చి గట్టిగా చెప్పలు కొడదాం మరి మీ పాదాలు చాలా శాస్త్రంగా పడతాడు sickness వల్బా రోగం వచ్చి శాస్త్రంగా పడుతుంది this circumstances that used to push you back 
they will bow before you. The hearts will have. Tender and teachable. The hearts will have. Truthful and honest. The hearts will have. Expecting and receiving. God will give you 30 fold and 100 fold. Ah, the hearts will have. Truthful and honest. 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 And then you receive and you benefit. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Here are my Lord. I present myself. I present my heart. And I want you to fill me up. Fruitfulness in your life. 30 fold. 60 fold. 100 fold. I want you to fill me up. I want you to fill me up. I want you to fill me up. And everybody said, Good Amen. Headquarters, Amen. God bless you. Don't sit down yet. You see, on Tuesdays, when we come, all these empty spaces, we need to fill them up. Our leaders are there. And it's the development of leaders. If we cannot influence the people inside, those already workers, already leaders, how can we influence the people outside who are not even born again? So let's make concerted effort that will tell our brethren who are supposed to be here on Saturday for workers meeting, training, and also on Tuesday for the leadership development uh, so that we can have the training that we ought to have and uh, we'll do more than we have ever done in Jesus' name. We are talking the moderator, preacher, pastor, Prayer warrior was talking on old time Bagada that the field displaced and the field outside. But you know why? The workers and the leaders were on fire. They were not just waiting for church bus and church transportation to bring them. Why didn't you come? The vehicle, I miss the vehicle. They tried. I listened to a message recently. In our Tuesday or Wednesday workers meeting. And that message, only one life. And it was soon begun. That was the song that came after that message. And I was saying there, thank God that, uh, you know, we could come today. Uh, that day, there was no transportation. Uh, fuel was not available. That was not available. But the people, they still came. And some walked, some ran. That's the reason why the revival was there at Bagada that time. That time will come back. So that we ourselves, our leaders, our workers, full time workers, part time workers, volunteer workers, everybody will have the fire and the fervency and we drive and then your vehicle, you come with empty vehicle, look for people around you and bring them along. This time is a new time. A revival time. And so, and when I say this, you know, in those days, if I said anything to the church, 
And I said, this is the mission. This is the goal. Let's do this. The following meeting, I find the response. The people have responded. They have filled all the places and they have done what I said they should do. And uh, when I go to the state as well, and because they accept me, they don't, don't just call me Father in the Lord or General Superintendent, they actually believe that whatever I said, the Lord sent me and they responded immediately. And so, what well, once that same time, of response to come back yeah. and if I correct anything on the church the church should respond and be obedient to what I'm correcting rather than uh, using this and using that to react reaction is not of God response is the will of God and we're going to respond Whatever I correct, whatever I say, I want the church to get back to where we were and nobody could confront us. No evil power because we're responding well to the word of God. And I pray here, headquarters, all the states, all the regions, everywhere, the spirit of God will come afresh upon everyone in Jesus' name. Another amen. amen. Over there, don't give me a reaction. Give me a response. You see me face to face, and then you are reacting the way you normally do. Understand? The word of the prophet will be confirmed. So be very, very careful that you are not here to contradict what I say. I'm appointed of God and when I talk, I talk in the office of the prophet, the office of the pastor, and our ushers and security people should be very vigilant that you don't allow indiscipline in our church. That while I'm talking, there's somebody reacting the normal way they do. I will not accept that and understand. I stand as a prophet. And when I speak, I know what I'm saying, but very careful. We're going to stand on the word of God and abide in the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you and bless your name and glorify you. We thank you because you brought us together so you can do good in our heart and do good in our life. And we too will go to the rest of the world and then we'll do good in Jesus' name. You've called us and Lord will respond to your calling and we're asking that your help us that will bear fruit in our calling in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God has blessed you. You can see now. Tonight, we're coming to Luke chapter 5. And in Luke chapter 5, it's a long passage. We're reading to start with verses 8 to 11. Look at Luke chapter 5, and I'm reading from verse 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. Oh Lord, look at verse 9. In verse 9, for he was astonished and surprised, and, and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes, which they had taken in verse 10 in verse 10 it says and so was also James and John at the sons of Zebedee which were partners with Simon and Jesus said unto Simon fear not for henceforth thou shalt catch men and then in verse 11 it says and when they had brought their sheaves to land. They forsook all and followed him. They forsook all and 
followed him tonight we're talking about the calling of christ the topic is christ's call to faithful faithfully faithfully and fully follow him christ's call to faithfully and fully follow him three things we're looking at in the message tonight number one christ's compelling call to Simon Peter and all sinful people. Number two, Christ confirmed choice of Simon Peter and all subsequent preachers. Number three, Christ comprehensive commission for Simon Peter and all his saved, sanctified people. Let's come to number one. Number one, Christ compelling call to Simon Peter and all sinful people. He had called Simon Peter. And in the in some verses in the chapter, look at chapter 5, reading from verse 27. In chapter 5, verse 27, and after these things, he went forth and saw a publican named Levi, that's Matthew, sitting at the receipt of customs, and he said unto him, follow me. He also called Matthew. That's how he called all those apostles, all those disciples. And what interests us, and what inspires us, and what makes us feel that we can do the same thing today is that immediately he called them. It was a compelling call. They couldn't resist the call. They rose up. And they went forth and they followed him. Look at three things here in the compelling call. Number one, his constant call to repentance and salvation. He's not calling anyone to entertainment. He's not calling anyone to religion. He's not calling anyone to tradition. He's calling everyone and calling us. He's calling everyone to repentance and salvation. Number two, the creative conversion to righteousness and sonship. When the people come unto him, as he expected they will come, this is what really happened with them, that they had righteousness in their lives. They did say, okay, I'm following Christ, I'm following the Lord, and then, and it's going living the way they were living before. No, a creative change, a creative transformation happening in their lives. When you effectively, effectually come to the Lord, there is a change and there is a transformation in your life. It's not like, okay, I'm called, I'm following him, smokers as he smoking, and drunkards as he drinking, and womanizers as he womanizing, and all those things as he happening. A change comes, a transformation comes when you respond to the call of the Lord. It's creative conversion to righteousness and sonship. Number three is the, is the compassion Compelling consecration that they leave everything, they surrender everything, they forgo everything, and this is a compelling consecration to the responsibility of soul winning. Let's look at number one there. Number one, the constant call to repentance and salvation. It tells us in Luke chapter 5. Reading from verse 31. Luke chapter 5, verse 31. And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. He gives us the interpretation of what he said in verse 32. In verse 32, I came not to call the righteous, the self-righteous, the traditionally righteous, the religious one. I came not to call the righteous, the self-righteous, but sinners to repentance. That's what he still does today. He calls sinners to repentance in Mark 
chapter 1, reading from verse 14. Mark chapter 1, verse 14. Now, after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. And then in verse 15, here is what he preached and saying, The time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is Satan. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Repent ye and believe the gospel. It tells us in Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Luke chapter 13, looking at verse 3, it says, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Have you seen, uh, you know, the attitude of Christ and the preaching of Christ and the firmness of Christ and the truthfulness of Christ? He didn't say well, there are other churches, there are other ministers, there are other preachers, there are other people who are rising sin up and uh, you know if I tell them repent 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 they might go to other places where you know all they have is dancing and drumming and, and religion and they say this is to attract the people it wasn't attracting anybody to religion it wasn't attracting anybody to you know all these uh, psychedelic uh, services he wanted them to understand except a person repent he would perish. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, it tells us, I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. In Luke chapter 24, reading from verse 47, Luke chapter 24, verse 47, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. That's what he has told us to do among all nations. And the challenge and the temptation for us as leaders, as preachers, as pastors, as, uh, you know, uh, sectional leaders over the people of God is to say that, you know, a church is springing up there near our church. Another one is springing up there near our church. And they are inviting the people. They are even giving them money. They are giving them this and that. And if we don't so pedal, if we don't uh, water down the message, if we keep on talking of repentance, change of life, conversion, and becoming a new creature and, re and leading the righteous life, if we keep on emphasizing that all these other churches, all these other fellowships will steal our members. No, they are not our members. If they can be stolen. If they can go from repentance to all the watered down um, declarations among us, then it means that they were not really born again and they're not serious about being born again. And so we don't need to water down anything. Christ has given us the message and he has said in all nations that repentance and remission of sin shall be preached and we stand to earnestly earnestly defend and contend for the faith once delivered unto the saints. And when you preach in the power of the Spirit of God, when you preach in the authority of the name of Christ, and you preach the word he has given you without any compromise, the people who are supposed to be here, they will come. They'll be converted. And their lives will become totally different we don't want to join the religious uh, preacher, religious crowd, uh, just, you know, saying the same thing they have always been saying. That is what marked us out at the beginning of this deeper life. All the various fellowships and Bible study locations had watered down everything. And in Lagos here, eternal security was ripe. And I need to tell you, when I came, just before I came to Unilag to be a student there to do my postgraduate, I was invited by the Christian uh, fellowship there. And he gave me the topic, the Christian and the world. And what could I do? And I gave the word as it is in the Bible. Immediately, I finished the message. 
and uh, those who are old enough and they were there at that time if they hear me now they understand they say yes immediately i finished somebody came up and uh, took the microphone and said everybody wait we don't accept that we will not follow that and i remember another brother i see him now i know his name he went to grab him he said don't worry none of us we don't believe all that that anybody can so repent and become a real child of God and be totally transformed. We don't believe, but let him go before we talk to our people. And that's how it was. A few months later, I then came to uh, Unilag as a student. Uh, studying, you know, mass education. And um, somebody was to come and preach in that same fellowship. And I was there because I knew the brother coming. And so I went there to sit down so I could listen to him. And uh, the brother did not come. That time there was no cell phone uh, to say, I will not come. And this is the reason why I will not come. And we were waiting and waiting. They were singing. And then the leader of the Christian Union there came to me and said, uh, Brother, uh, the preacher is not here. Can you please, uh, you know, in uh, five, ten minutes, give us the word? I said, That's all right. I never rejected any opportunity. I knew they shouted me down a few months uh, the, when I came the other time. And they took the microphone and they said, We don't accept that. But now they called me. They said, Speak. And I got up and I spoke. What did I say? Five minutes, ten minutes opportunity that they gave me. There wasn't much time to prepare, but the word was inside, and I was ready to pour it out. And so I preached. The following day, it was a three-day revival at the Christian Union. Then he didn't come, and he called me again, and I prayed. And then they called me again the third day, and I delivered the word as I knew how. And then they asked me, they said, please, you are not an officer in the Christian Union, but we need this word. And I said, okay, every Saturday we'll get together and do what we call digging deep. Saturday, 10 p.m., all those who are interested, it wasn't compulsory, but the people were coming and coming. The part life had not started, and I gave the word in that digging deep. I didn't say, okay, they don't believe this, they don't believe that. If I emphasize this, emphasize that, they will not come. I left that to God. And then the following year, I became a lecturer there. And now we started Deeper Christian Life Ministry. And it was from there, preaching the word and emphasizing, except a man repent, he will not see the kingdom of God. And by the grace of God, for more than 50 years now, I've been preaching the same thing. And that's how you came. And I've handed it over to your life. And you will go and tell and teach other people like they came when I was over there. They will come now as you are over there. We're looking at number two here. Number two, we're looking at this creative conversion to righteousness and sonship. When we come to him, he calls us and then he converts us. He changes us. He makes our lives totally different. And we're looking at Luke chapter 10, reading from verse 20. In Luke chapter 10, reading from verse 20, it says, Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but Rather, rejoice because your names are written in heaven. There are some theologians that will say, you know, people were not converted at that time when Christ was on earth. Only after he died on the cross, only after he rose from the dead, were they converted. That's wrong. Even in the Old Testament, 
before Christ came, the power of God, the promise of God, the provision of God was to make them to be converted. Listen to me. The joy of thy salvation and sinners shall be converted unto thee. That's Old Testament. In the New Testament now, it says rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Acts of the Apostle chapter 3 verse 19. In Acts chapter 3 verse 19, repent ye therefore and be converted. That's the essential thing. And that is the indispensable thing. Conversion. Repent ye therefore and be converted. And of course, if we are going to preach conversion, we ourselves must have been converted. If we are going to preach repentance, we ourselves should have thoroughly, totally, earnestly, completely repented of all our sins. A sinner who is still drinking in sin and foaming out sin, a sinner who is swimming in the ocean of sinfulness cannot go and preach repentance to other people. A person has not been converted. His life has not been changed. His life has not been transformed. He cannot go and preach conversion to other people. But look at Peter talking to the people. He had repented. He had been converted. His life had been transformed. Therefore, he could say, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. In James chapter 5, reading from verse 19, James chapter 5, verse 19, brethren, if any of you, a brother, if any of you, a sister, if any of you, a member of the local assembly, if any of you do err from the truth, and one converts him, a backslider, He's been in the Lord before, any of you. And now he hears from the truth. He goes back into falsehood. He goes back into false doctrine. He goes back into sin. As we approach him, as we approach her, she's no more a brother. She's no more a sister. Whatever her name, whatever her position, whatever her head knowledge, once in character, in behavior, in lifestyle, she has heard from the truth. He has heard from the truth. What gone away from the truth? He needs conversion. She needs conversion, brethren. If any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, in verse 20, it says, Let him know that he which converteth the sinner, he was one of us, born again, child of God, brother, sister, any of you, but now, when he erred from the truth, when she erred from the truth, she became a sinner, and we approach him that way, and we approach her that way, and one converts him, the sinner, from the error of his way, he shall save his soul from death, spiritual death, sad, sudden, sorrowful death, and the second death. He shall save his soul from death and shall hide.